hey guys welcome back to my channel so today i'm going to be doing a trying new stuff video for you guys i wanted to share with some new stuff that i got with you and yeah let's go ahead and get right into it um i'm going to be using the milk makeup hydro grip primer i've already used this primer a million times you already you already know this is nothing new uh but i love it because it's hydrating so it keeps my face from getting oily throughout the day because my skin is hydrated so the foundation that i'm going to be trying for today is the beauty bakery insta bake aqua glass foundation the original beauty bakery is a bit more matte so this one is more hydrating and I decided to try the shades 315 and 317 um, this is the shade 315 and it is more of a cool golden olive undertone and this is the shade 317 and that one's more warm I couldn't decide which one I liked better they're both really good like they both match me pretty well so I blended it into my skin and decided to go ahead and go with the warmer one the golden warm one seemed to work better so I'm applying that and as you can see, one coat of this foundation is really nice. It's not super heavy and it doesn't have a heavy coverage. It's more of a light to medium coverage. It gives me that same kind of effect that the Fenty Hydrating one has. It doesn't have a lot of coverage, but you can build it up. So I applied about two and a half coats of this foundation just to see how well it layers and it layers absolutely beautifully like it looks amazing um it looks just like skin like it didn't feel greasy at all it came off very very just hydrating and nice dewy glowy finish but once you set it with powder like well you'll see when i put the powder on like my face looked fine like it doesn't look like i'm have on a hydrating foundation if that makes sense so you can work it any way that you prefer moving forward we're going to use some new stuff from tarte actually i got a bunch of stuff from tarte in the mail most of you are probably already familiar with the shape tape concealer and this is the shade tandy punny that i'm going to be using um i used to use this concealer all the time and i really really loved it and i decided to go ahead and and give it another shot because I'm not gonna lie I really missed it and I want to try some of their new stuff plus they're having a sale this weekend so you should go ahead and check out Tarte's website um, they're gonna be having buy one get one 50% off so um, use the code BOGO50 and you can get 50% off this weekend all right moving forward I'm going to contour I'm gonna be using the milk makeup uh, flex stick in the color hazelnut and I'm gonna be using this to just deepen up the shadowy areas of my face. So moving forward, we're going to use the Tarte setting powder. Now this is the Shape Tape setting powder and it is in a translucent shade. Now I know it looks alarming because it's not yellow. Normally we set our under eyes with yellow powder. I was very shocked by how translucent it ended up being. I actually took a picture in my bathroom in the dark with flash to see if it was going to give me flashback. It did not. It sets very, very nicely. It actually has a very matte finish, but it's not like matte to the point where it's dry and cakey. You know what I'm saying? Like some setting powders leave your face feeling really dry and plastered, but this one doesn't. It gives a very flexible hold. So I'm just going in and adding a little bit of bronzer. This is the Anastasia bronzer in the color mahogany, and I'm just blending that around my face um, just to give me a nice little bronze on top of the contour. And then I'm using a brush with no product on it just to blend out some of that powder and let it set into my skin. Trying a new pencil today. This is the Fenty Beauty eyebrow pencil. You guys already know this is like super hyped up. Um, I'm super excited about it because it has this interesting brush on the end. It's not regular spoolie brush. It's like a toothbrush almost using it on your eyebrows. And I have brushed my eyebrows with toothbrushes before and they work really well. So this was actually like, yes, this works. I like it. I'm using the shade brunette I believe but it came off more cool than I expected it to which isn't a bad thing because my hair is a more cool toned brown it's not necessarily like black but it's not brown either it's a dark dark brown and it doesn't have much warmth to it so I like the shade because it gives me the same kind of effect and this brow pencil is not super super pigmented like it doesn't give me a very crayon-y feel if you know what I mean like it, it doesn't draw on super heavy so I feel like one if I wipe my eyebrow it wouldn't come off and two I feel like it's very nice and natural so if you did want to just do your eyebrows without any makeup on you won't look ridiculous because your eyebrows won't be so heavy you know what I'm saying so I like the way this eyebrow pencil applies this is just a brow gel and we're just brushing through our brows you know and yeah yeah I like the way I look okay Fenty also came out with some new matchsticks and I love these so much the packaging number one and the colors this is the color Bordeaux Brat and Cognac using Cognac first 
Um, I wasn't really impressed with cognac actually. I expected it to be a little bit more pigmented and deeper in tone. Um, on me, it came off a little bit more neutral. I wasn't expecting that. But I did overall like how um, it, it applied, but it just wasn't, to me, it wasn't deep enough. I expected it to be a little bit deeper. Um, I blended it out with a blending brush and I think maybe that's why it came off less pigmented than I wanted it to. You'll see me apply more of this a couple times to get the pigmentation that I wanted, but it wasn't coming off super deep. Now I'm going in with Bordeaux Brat, doing the same thing. I'm applying that to my outer corner, not all over, just my outer corner, just to give some more color. And I really like this one. This one is a little bit more my speed, I think, mainly because it's more warm and pink. And you guys know I love warm and pink, especially on my eyes. Um, but I love applying like blush tones to my eyes and my cheeks. I just love that look. Okay, so we're moving on to the Jackie Aina palette and I'm using it again. I'm gonna take the color Wiggly with my finger and I'm going to apply that to my lid just to give a little bit more of a pounce. A pounce, a what? I don't even know what, I don't know what I'm trying to say. Just putting that on there and it's cute, okay? Um, and then I'm going to go in with my fingers again and I'm gonna take the color Soleil and Zoom and I'm going to apply that to my lid as well um, just to add some gold and shimmer and just really give it a nice pizzazz, sparkle, spirit fingers. Using my sponge and my brush to clean that up and get the extra little shimmy shimmies off of my face. Next, I'm taking a skinny brush and I'm going in with the color Supreme. And I'm going to put that in the inner like crease area of my eye, the sunken in part, the sunken place. We're applying that to that portion. Mm -hmm. We're just kind of making like a little half moon here. Um, and I've seen other people do this and it turned out really cute. I don't think it showed up as much on me because I didn't put a base down first. Um, I think I should use like a cream eyeliner or something and then apply this on top, but y'all know I don't like being precise and stuff. So um, I just skipped that step and it came off very light, but it's still cute. You know, you can still see it. So that's all that matters. Now we're going in with our highlight and this is the Milk Makeup Flex Highlighter in the color Lit, I believe. And I'm just blending that back on my cheekbones and my brow bone. Also going to apply that to the tip and the bridge of my nose as well so that, you know, we glow in the dark because that's the goal, always glow in the dark, blind people. That is, that is the key. And then I'm going to use my sponge just to dampen that so that it sinks into my skin and looks nice and it's not sitting on top. You know what I'm saying? All right, so moving forward, we're just gonna apply some mascara. This is the Rimmel Lash Accelerator and then the Milk Makeup Kush Mascara on top. And we're just putting on several coats so that our lashes are nice and thick. And then we're gonna apply the ColourPop Cream Gel Eyeliner. And I don't remember the name of this color, but it is the Rose Gold Metallic Shade. And I'm applying that to the inner rim of my eye to give a nice, Pop. I like it. It's different from the normal beige and white that I do, so decided to try something a little more angelic. Then we're going to use this Shape Tape Setting Spray, and this is the Stay Spray by Tarte. And I'm going to use that to set my entire face and make sure that it stays in place. All right, we're just shape taping. We're shaping and taping today. You guys know I apply like five things to my lips, so get ready. Uh, this is ColourPop's it's BFF3 Color Pop Liner, and then I'm going to put Stay Matte by Rimmel. Don't know the name of this color, but I'll be sure to put it in the description box. And then I'm going to apply Buxom Lip Gloss on top, but I didn't really like how the Buxom Lip Gloss turned out, so I'm going to apply some Rimmel Stay Glossy on top of that. So yeah, that is the concoction for today. Hope that you guys enjoyed that um, mixology for the lips 101. And that's it. We're gonna fix our hair and serve face. I hope that you guys enjoyed this look. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and be sure to check the description box for all the links and information that you need. It'll all be in there. And um, yeah, be sure to follow me on Instagram and like my sweat pics, okay? All right, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.